Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Here I have a great article for you guys from Market Beat. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. Just as a disclaimer, I'm no stock expert, no financial expert, so don't go and buy or sell any of your stock based on my opinion. So here in this article, Donaldson Cap Capital Management lowers stake in Verizon Communication, and I've seen that more, that larger investors are starting to reduce their stake in Verizon. Now, there's some that have increased, but the, from what I've seen, there's more that have that have lowered their stake in Verizon. And that's, you know, that's a bit troubling because it's it's getting harder to place a bet on Verizon, you know, because that's in the end, that's what you're doing. If you put your money there, you're 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 placing a bet that they're going to do X amount of dollars. They're going to do this X amount of numbers. But if you look at Verizon's future outlook, you know, it's it's it doesn't look that great, right? If you look at the consumer business, which is where they make their their bread and butter, they're not growing there. You know, and that's an emphasis you have to make over and over again. They just don't grow. They're starting to admit it publicly that there's no momentum there. They're trying, right? They're trying to throw stuff at the wall to see what sticks. Right. Recently, they announced the My Plan. Uh, not too long ago, maybe a few months. That's in, that's been in rotation. Now they have, you know, they're adding more value onto that. Like I made the video, any any iPhone, any condition, they're trying to be value accretive that way. But it hasn't worked. You know, Q3 is is ending in a few days, and then in October we'll get those earnings calls. And I don't see it being any better for Verizon. I just don't see it. Right? I drive around, I look at the Verizon stores, they're mostly empty. There, there's hardly any traffic going through those channels. Maybe online, maybe over the phone. I doubt it. You know, fixed wireless access traffic, that's there, I'm told. That's definitely there. But everything else is is very, very slim. You know, little to none. The business side is probably going to do well again. That's that's been hinted. But if you look at the uh, the carriers get market share numbers, right? The, of course, those are not a hundred percent accurate, but it gives you a more or less of an idea of how this is going. And from what I'm told, you know, Q3 is not looking good for Verizon again on the consumer side. Maybe Q4. Maybe it's going to take a whole quarter for this my plan to stick. I doubt it. But, you know, when are they going to pivot and shift again, right? They just recently, not too long ago, announced the any iPhone, any condition trade in to get the thousand dollars off. Um, that might take, you know, a few weeks to, to resignate and, and get going. But by the time that may be resignating, Verizon may be pulling it already. You know, they, maybe they this time they stick to it. Who knows? But it's it's just tough right now to, to, to increase your stake in Verizon when you see the roadmap being so, you know, so, so bad in that sense, right? There's no confidence, no motivation. They took no momentum really into the third quarter. They, they took a loss in the second quarter, 136,000. That's how many people left. So no momentum there. So we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. We'll see what sticks. We'll see what they change. Um, we'll, we'll definitely keep an eye out. But some of the larger investment firms are starting to lower their stake in Verizon. Like I mentioned, some are increasing, but the majority more are decreasing their stake in Verizon. And like I said, it's just a tough, it's just a tough bet to place because of the future outlook, the roadmap. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more likes, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.